Hello and welcome everyone to Variety Stick and we're back again for another video. In today's video I'm going to show you how to transfer files, uh, text messages, contacts, pictures through Samsung Smart Switch. In this video you have to have Samsung phone that you're willing to transfer that information to and then if you have iPhone, other Android phone, it should be no a problem just watch this video till the end and you should be able to move all the stuff from the old phone to the new phone before we start make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and to encourage me give me that thumbs up without any further ado let's find out now just before we begin I need to explain a few important things now first of all as I've mentioned you have to have a Samsung phone the phone that has no information in this case we have this phone located on the left it has no information and my information my old phone it will be the one on the right I have my contacts I have my uh, text messages pictures and I want to move my stuff now this doesn't matter to be a Samsung or iPhone but the most important thing the one that has no data has to be a Samsung other than that you cannot use a smart switch second thing you need to connect both phone to the same Wi-Fi network so you must have Wi-Fi now if you don't have Wi-Fi you can use cable it has to be C to C end but maybe not every Samsung phone compatible with the cable so I would just prefer to do through the Wi-Fi now to use a smart switch you have to download smart switch on the phone that you're willing to transfer the information from go to Google Play Store if the phone was not installed already and just type Samsung smart switch and you should be able to download the app then you need to open now the phone that doesn't have no information you need to know something you have to be on the activation wizard screen in another word you have to make factory reset the phone has to be like a brand new for the software right now I didn't go through I just connect my phone to Wi-Fi and then we're gonna go through the steps again this phone has to be on the activation wizard screen if you already skip the activation wizard screen go ahead factory set the phone you have to start from the scratch now let's start so connected to Wi-Fi I'm just gonna hit next and then I have to open on the other phone now first of all you're gonna get a smart Samsung smart switch uh, you have to give and allow the permission you must allow that is very important and you're gonna get this screen so now we're just gonna wait till the loading completes on the other phone and we're gonna come back to you now on the new phone you should get this screen copy apps and data you just have to hit next if you hit don't copy it will skip this part but we need to hit next now it's gonna say use your old phone so hit next now it's gonna update a smart switch it takes a few min a few minutes or a few seconds depends on your Wi-Fi speed now here you need to choose now I'm using Android in this phone so if I'm using Android I have to go with Galaxy Android now if you're using iPhone you have to choose iPhone because you're moving stuff from iPhone from your Samsung to iPhone so go ahead and click Samsung and hit continue now if it's cable you have to use cable now if it's Wi-Fi you have to choose Wi-Fi so let me choose Wi-Fi now I have to hit send from the other phone so hit send and choose Wi-Fi and wait till both pair together now the new phone it will tell you a new phone is Galaxy A21 which is your phone and this is the Galaxy A20 so right now the both phone in the process of pairing to each other so we just have to wait you need to be patient when you do this now both phone has been paired to each other and this phone start getting the information from the old phone now you're gonna get this message and let me just go a little bit close up for you now it says 
do you want just the account call logs and contacts and that process doesn't take too long or you can choose that you want to get everything if you choose everything you guys are gonna expect the process will take uh, too long but I would just hit on everything so that way I can get everything from this phone transfer to this phone so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit next now the phone's gonna ask you if you want to add the account uh, for me I'm not gonna add the account I'm just gonna uh, uh, skip this part and then I'm gonna wait later on you can just go to Google Play Store and sign with the same Gmail account you have so that's not a big deal and this video only for educational purposes only so I'm not doing the transfer uh, in the way you guys should do it now the phone it might take uh, too long to do this but before we just need to finish the activation wizard screen from the new phone so let's go ahead and do it now after we finish the activation wizard screen you guys gonna see completing setup right there and transfer data to the old phone so you can tab here and that will show you the percentage right now the phone's gonna do the backup and after this it will install everything and the phone's gonna look identical from this phone so we're gonna have copy paste to this phone and this is one of the best way to move your stuff to your Samsung device from the old device because you're gonna have the same settings you're gonna have the same applications same background call log text messages etc this might take a while so we're gonna just skip this part and we can come back to you after the uh, transfer is complete now after the transfer is complete we have two identical devices you guys can see this phone so we have even the same layout for the icons on the desktop as you guys can see and if we go to calls on both phones we should have identical contacts just want to show you guys so the same thing if we go to text messages also we should be able to have the same text messages on both phones as you guys can see and that should do it for this video i wish you guys find this video helpful if it did thumbs up subscribe for more videos here on varieties tech thank you so much for watching as always we'll see you in the next video